right guys, so now we are gonna be taking the smaller piece that we cut out earlier, and yours should be out of cardboard, mine just happened to be out of foam board because it's what I had on hand. You should have your base cut out, you should have your elevator sides glued together with the skewers. Make sure that it moves freely and it's not getting caught. If it does get caught, you might have to make some adjustments to your pipe cleaners. It's pretty simple. Pull them out like this, move them from side to side. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then lock them back down like this. There we go. And it still moves, kind of like an accordion here. I'm gonna put that to the side. And at this point, you should also have your syringes put together. Now, the more we play with it, the more air might get into one of these sides. So we wanna try not to play with it too much because the air bubbles can cause these to break apart. So just be careful once you have it done. We might have to make some adjustments with our water later. For right now, let's just see how we're going to attach it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our elevator and we're gonna sit it down on our base like this. Then we're gonna take this little piece that we cut out earlier. We're gonna sit it against this bottom skewer. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna sit it down and I'm going to push it against right there. Then I'm gonna move the elevator and using a pencil, I'm gonna make a mark right where I'm gonna be gluing down this piece. All right, you can see I've used this base for other things in the past. All right, so this mark right here is where I want this to go so that it prevents our elevator from flying off the board. I'm gonna go ahead and put a line of hot glue right there. I low on hot glue. And please remember to put the hot glue back on the pink pieces of paper so that we save the counter from getting uh, hot glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold this in place for about a 20 seconds or so, maybe a little bit shorter. And once it feels like it's going to stand up on your own, let's just let that draw. All right. So now what we're going to be doing is measuring the distance from one side of our elevator to the other. So you have this piece on. We're not going to be attaching the elevator to this. So we want some movement. And if a piece breaks, we want to be able to take this off and fix it. So we still, we will just sit it here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our syringes, right? And we are going to be laying it so that the tip of the plunger is resting against, against the bottom of our elevator in its closed position. So make sure that it's completely closed. And we're just going to sit it down against it. All right, using our pencil again, you're going to be marking the handle part of your syringe because that's the part that's going to be glued down. We do not need to glue this part down because it's the part that moves. And if it's glued in place, this won't work. So I'm simply going to set it down here. I'm going to make a mark. And if you need to remove your elevator for this, you can. Make a mark here and a mark here showing me where I'm gonna be putting my hot glue. You can see I've done this before with marker, but we're gonna look at the pencil mark. And again, using my hot glue, I'm gonna put a, a line of hot glue right there. And then I'm just going to rest the skewer right here. We're gonna hold it in place. Now, please try not to touch the hot glue, because like we've said in class, hot glue is hot. And hopefully after it dries, it won't move too much. If we have to add a little bit of hot glue on either side, we can do that. And you also cut out a smaller piece earlier in this build. I have found that it is helpful sometimes to glue this on one or both of the sides of the skewer's little handle right here. This just keeps it in place again. So this piece might actually be too big and I could cut it in half. And I could glue it on either side right here, keeping my skewer from move, or excuse me, my syringe from moving. So the glue's still a little hot right there and I can still press it in. All right, so if you need some more glue on this, this is just an added part. You don't have to do what I'm doing right here, but you do have this extra little piece of cardboard that you cut out earlier. So I'm just gonna glue it in place, kind of keeping my syringe from moving too much. I'll do that. Okay, so now what we hope happens is when I push on this, there we go. And when I pull on it, it comes back out. Now that everything's glued in place, the last thing we need to do is simply place our elevator on the base. Now, when we push, it should go up, coming at you. When we go down, it goes back down. 
And again, we want to be able to take this out to make adjustments as need be. But this right here is your base. You want your syringes to move just like this, keeping either side pressed firmly against your elevator. So it should look like this from the side, like right here, and then your back right there. All right, so this is it. This is how we're going to build our syringe elevator. Now with our pistons, no longer syringes, just raise your hand if you have any other questions in class. Happy building.